Hey guys, it's Tyler with Tyler's Dragon Tarot, and um, my dog kept interrupting me in the last recording, so I've already drawn cards for you, Capricorn. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, uh, liking, subscribing, uh, commenting, all that stuff. Um, sorry, nose itching. Okay, so pretty much what I got for you here is there's a lot of anxiety uh, with the Nine of Swords here and the Eight of Swords. And a lot of anxiety, a lot of fog, a lot of you're not very clear on what you want. And see how it came out. These three over here came first, the Death card. Temperance and the Nine of Swords. So it's like the death card is you're putting something to rest to clear for something new. But it's taking a lot out of you. And you have anxiety over it. And I think it's because you didn't trust your your intuition on clearing out that toxicity. And the toxicity is still there. You're not listening to your intuition here. Because... You didn't see here because you're blindfolded by the anxiety and all that. You're blindfolding yourself. You can take that blindfold off and you can see, but you're choosing not to for some reason. Um, that you had the Empress. You had a very nurturing situation going on. And that's why you can't recover from this. Because you thought you cleared the toxicity, but you didn't trust your intuition right. You didn't. Um, actually clear what you needed to clear. So, you actually got rid of a very positive aspect is what I'm feeling for this reading, and hopefully it's resonating. Um, maybe it's not too late to do something. I don't know. But let's see. Okay, this card wants to pop out. Secret doorway. <laughs> Secret doorway. Working with intuition. Second... Site opening, dimensional doorways. Work with your intuition. Try to get closer to it because it's like you're not trusting your gut here because you're just so overburdened with anxiety that you just don't know what to do. And then you're trying to recover, but you just can't. Into the woods. Uh, feeling uncertain. Yeah, that that's the one on here. You're feeling uncertain, Capricorn. Okay, I feel like drawing from this other one here. Let's see. Pay attention to your self-talk. I feel like that goes with the intuition here. Like, um... You might be telling yourself answers that you're not listening to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw that too. Intuition and self-love. So I feel like you have the Empress here, a very loving energy here, and you kicked it out of your life because you thought it was the toxicity. But I, I have this similar feeling with someone else. Um... It's like you, I think it was Libra. So if you have Libra in your chart too, I don't know. Maybe it's just that kind of thing. But um, so you're not loving yourself. You're giving yourself like this much love. So when you have the Empress in your life and they're giving you like this much love, they're very nurturing. They're like, oh, what do you need, baby? I'll get it. I'll handle it. It's almost like, when they don't get it returned and the Empress gets flipped over and it's just like you're not giving them what they need, um, you view them as toxic for some reason. But it's like, really, you're just not receiving their love because you can't love yourself enough to receive the amount of love they have for you. Um, so... You're going to have to work on self-love and not beating yourself up here. Love. Okay, yeah, love. I'm sitting here to be able to accept love. You're going to have to work on self-love. You got to love yourself before you can love someone else. 
before you can accept their love, you're going to have to accept your own love. Um, so I feel like your, um, your self-esteem issues, your self-doubt, your hatred, for lack of a better term, your hatred of yourself, your like, oh, why do I do things this way? Oh, I'm a horrible person, blah, 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 that kind of shit. You got to cut that shit out, believe in yourself, love yourself, because if you don't love yourself, you're never going to believe it when someone else loves you and they try to offer you this empress energy. This just amazingly nurturing energy. You're going to see them as toxic because they're over the top to you because you can't love yourself when they're just trying to be everything you need emotionally. Um, all right, that got a little real Capricorn. Hopefully that resonated because it sounds like a message you need. Um, thank you guys for watching and have a great night.